Marilyn Manson fined after blowing nose on camera operator in 2019. Marilyn Manson, a rock singer, was fined and given a 20-hour community service requirement after pleading no contest to blowing his nose in a cameraman's face during a performance. Following the incident at a concert in New Hampshire in 2019, the 54-year-old, whose real name is Brian Warner, appeared in court on Monday and was charged with two misdemeanor counts of simple assault. Manson entered a plea of, no contest, which means he does not contest the accusation but does not accept guilt. In exchange for the dismissal of the other charge against the musician, that he had spit on the camera operator, prosecutors agreed to accept the plea. He received a fine of slightly over $1,400 with $200 suspended, and he must avoid arrest for two years while also informing the local police of any performances in New Hampshire. According to a police affidavit, Manson confronted Susan Fountain, the camera operator, at the New Hampshire concert, positioned his face close to her lens, and spat a big loudy at her. According to an affidavit from a police sergeant who watched the videotape, Manson blew a significant amount of mucus at Fountain, and after the camera angle changes, Manson can be seen, pointing and laughing at Fountain as she gets down and walks away. The act was the most disgusting thing a human being could have done, Ms. Fountain stated in a statement. The rock star's attorney said that the type of recording Ms. Fountain was performing at the performance frequently exposed filmmakers to incidental contact with bodily fluids when Manson initially entered a not guilty plea to both charges in 2021. The judge permitted him to complete his community service in California, and Manson informed reporters that he might decide to work with addicts as part of his punishment. The popular musician first became well-known due to his hit albums in the middle of the 1990s, but he has also been the subject of widespread criticism. Over the years, Manson has been accused of several sexual assaults. However, most of those cases have been dropped or resolved, including the now-resolved lawsuit brought by Game of Thrones actress Esme Bianco in 2021.